All right, now we're going to go over to the student view. So in the student Google Drive, it does the same thing as in the teacher Google Drive. It creates a folder called Classroom. And this is the older version of Classroom. On the, my account, the teacher version, you have the newer version, excuse me, of Drive. Uh, the newer version of Drive versus the older version of Drive. Uh, but here you have the three assignments that Mary Jones has participated in. Uh, she's written the collaborative essay with John Smith and has turned that in, and I have not returned it, so currently I am still the owner. So she can see it, but she can't edit it. And then here are the two documents related with the Napoleon activity. One, the Tyrant or Hero template that I pushed out, and the other one where she was to go in and write an essay or whatever activity I had signed, where she created that. So all that happens in world history, and again, maybe a naming convention that you are creating will help better organize her folder. If she wanted to, she could go in here and create a folder called Graded, and then uh, to keep this a little organized, she could actually pull those assignments into there. I'm going to keep this one on top because it hasn't been recorded and it hasn't been graded, but that way they could, uh, the student could kind of, you know, keep track of what hasn't been recorded and they can do some better organization as far as that's concerned. All right, so that is how Google Drive and Google Classroom interact. So Classroom sits on top of Google and then kind of Google Drive and, and has the move files back and forth. If you have any questions, please let me know.